boy Memphis Mac, this Mac, boy Memphis Mac. Hey, good afternoon, folks. It's your boy Memphis Mac with his buddy back here, Bradley Ray. And uh, as you can see, we had us a good day today out there in the Hundred Acre Wood. Yes, sir. One of Christopher Robbins' friends said he wanted to come out and play. But boy, Bradley, man, he locked and loaded. He got him one. We've already preset everything with his deer horse. So today we're going to show all of you how to skin a buck. That's right. Just like Hank Williams Jr. said, skin a buck. Well, guess what? You about to see it. I have, uh, I've got this hoist here that we've got the deer hanging from. I've also got another hoist up in the top of the barn. And then we're going to use the one at the top of the barn to pull the hide off the deer. So this first, uh, first what we're, what we're going to do is we're going to cut these legs off and we're going to, uh, we're going to go ahead and split the hide on, on the front. So when we pull it off the back, it'll just come off like a t-shirt is the idea. And we've got an anchor in the ground. Show him this anchor over here. Around the front there, we got him. We got his horns tied to. So we got. Uh, I've got a long grounding rod shoved in the ground to act as an anchor. And uh, so you anchor the, the deer's head to the ground. That way, when you pull, start pulling on the skin. Skin don't uh, it don't come up, and so that way you're not really putting any pressure on the uh, on your hanging hoist. All your pressure is going to be uh, on this on the uh, on that rod in the ground. So we're just going to just like you would like you would do like if you were going to skin him by hand. We're just going to take and and uh, make us a cut. And then this will just help that uh, the skin come off the deer a little bit easier. And if you Peter folks are watching this, like I told you once before, get yourself a, an opportunity to get you a deer burger. I promise you're going to be getting yourself a hunting license. You'll be learning how to do this for no time. I've not done this yet with this, with this skinner. This is going to be kind of our trial run. So I'm not 100% sure how this skin on the front comes off. It might need to actually skin it down. That way it doesn't pull a whole lot. <clears throat> it should just come on off. But just to be safe, I'm gonna go ahead and skin it down to about the start of the legs here. I think I'm gonna try it to about right there. And we're gonna go ahead and skin around his head. You wanna you wanna leave his head on for this just so you have something to strap it to the ground. We're just gonna go around his neck. Make sure the skin is cut all the way around, which I think it is. So we're going to, uh, so now I'm going to skin, I'm going to open this skin up a little bit because I want to be able to get this golf ball underneath the skin. And so I'm going to skin it back just a little bit. I kind of think I'm going to skin run my knife up the, uh, up the center here a little bit. So I'm kind of hoping this will help keep a lot of the hair and stuff off the meat and be a less, little bit less time consuming. It may not. It may turn out to be just as time consuming. Who knows? I've got a cable here. And we're gonna stick this. I guess I need to go upstairs and uh, loosen that up. All right. So we're gonna put the golf ball underneath the skin. Ugh. We may have to skin it a little bit more because you want to be able to get that uh, wire around that golf ball, but but pinch the skin at the same time. And you want the wire to go underneath the golf ball. That's pretty. Let's try that. And see how it does. So the idea is, this head is he's, it's chained to the floor. It's not gonna it's not gonna pick up. So when you start winching this, the only thing that can come up is is his skin, and it's just gonna peel off all the way up to the top. And we got it up so high in the loft of the barn because you need at least double the length of the deer. Mm be able to get it off so i'm gonna go up there and start winching and we'll see how it does all right, all right. so he's already started hoisting it up so if all goes uh well this should be a a smooth process he's still anchored down there to the ground with his antler 
the skin starting to come up? Yes. So you see here, everything's in a bind. So we're gonna help him. I think once we help it get started, it'll it'll go ahead, do, do its thing, and peel off. Just gotta figure out where it's, kind of what's got it in a bind. I think it's this little neck muscle, neck piece right here. And it might be too much stretch in the rope. The rope, we're, we're using a rope up there. It might be, that rope might be stretching it too much and not have enough. All right, now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go crank it and see if it'll, see how it does. Can get a little more on it. Yeah, so what he had to do was he had to skin a little bit more of this. Like I said, this is trial and error, so um, he just had to skin a little bit more of that hair off them legs uh, up to the shoulders. I think I think I should have uh, maybe cut the bottom side of those legs. Maybe, uh, like I said, trial and error which you'll try and figure this out exactly the best way to do it but I think now we got the uh, we got all the skin around the front of the legs it just needs to peel off the back and up the deer and I just keep dirt all over my meat because uh, it had a pretty good bit of force on it did it Mac? you sure did and so I'm hoping that, I'm hoping that will work a little better I'm gonna spin so you get that golf ball up there and you get your cable underneath it good. But you want to make sure you have a good bit of skin. Otherwise, you're going to knock yourself in the teeth with the golf ball. So he's on his way back up. We're going to, we're going to try this again. Like I said, it's trial and error. Yes, sir. Uh, looks like it's skinning right on off now. That's how it's done right there, ladies and gentlemen. Turned out good. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and since I'm up high enough, I'm just gonna be real easy and go ahead and cut the skin loose. See if I can get it all loose. Cause I really kind of need to get it off of my my wing, my, my gamble here, so I can 